What's up? It's Dion here. Um, I'm going to do a video that shows you guys how to uh, get unlimited range with your telemetry. And if you have unlimited range with telemetry with APM, you can connect to Droid Planner or uh, Tower or you know any of the apps that are available on the, uh, in the at the Google Play Store. Um, and once you have unlimited telemetry, you can control your quad or your fixed wing, uh, fixed wing plane, uh, as long as it's you know as long as it has an APM flight controller, unlimited from anywhere in the world. Theoretically, from anywhere in the world. Um, pretty exciting, because uh, I used to, you know, I, I used to have the radio. I still do, but um, the 3DR radios, and those, um, if you're lucky, you'll get a mile, maybe. You know, and after that mile, it's nerve-wracking when you get no data for 10 seconds. No data for 15 seconds. And you're like, where is it? No data for 25 seconds. And then you get the, the reassuring message, heading to Waypoint Home. And you're like, oh, yes, it's coming back. <laughs> so, so anyway, um, so yeah, this is, I was really excited. It took me, you know, a few hours to, to get everything configured. So I just thought I'd make a video to help, you know, anybody else out who was thinking about um, getting unlimited uh, control. Which is, which is ridiculous, which is great. So um, so I will go over what you need uh, in this video. So you will need um, three Android phones or three Android devices. Um, one actually goes on the, on the quadcopter or on the plane itself. And that's gonna be your, uh, let's call it a sky station, right? And then you will need Android device number two, which this is gonna be part of your ground station, and then Android device number three, and this is gonna be also part of your ground station. Um, and I'll explain later on how all of these interact with each other. But uh, it's actually pretty simple, um, and it works out great. I can't believe I did it. When I, when I finally hit the connect button and said connected, I was like, oh, yes. But anyway, we'll get into that. Um, Let's see. So, once you have your three Android devices, um, two of them have to have a data connection because when you're in the field, you're not going to have Wi-Fi, so you're going to need to rely on your 4G, uh, preferably 4G. Um, 3G, eh, a little slow might work, but 4G, um, I recommend. That way you don't have any dropouts. Uh, so yeah, so one Android device, two Android devices, this one's going to be your sky. This one is going to be your ground station. Uh, and then this is also going to be your control, your ground station. So um, the first thing you want to do is let's see if I can. So uh, after you have located your Android devices, all three of them, uh, what you want to do is take device number one and device number two and download an app called Andrew. Um, so head over to the Google Play Store and type in A N D R U A V uh, and go ahead and uh, type that in and it'll pop up with that icon there. Click on that and go ahead and install that. Uh, you will need to install that once again on device number one and device number two. Once you get those two installed, uh, you will need to register to uh, get your access code. Once you have your access code, you will then have access to the servers. After you get your ac access code and everything is ready to go, you will need to get your APM data into phone number one. So uh, the way I'm gonna do that is by connecting 3DR radio to an active OTG, uh, OTG USB port there. So once I do that, it recognizes it. It's going to ask me what app I'd like to use, and we're going to use Andrew. So click on Andrew. OK, so now we are uh, in drone mode. So drone mode means 
it is your sky station this is the phone that will be on the quadcopter or on your fixed wing plane it is important to have uh, to have drone mode switched on on this particular device on this device you will need to switch to ground station mode and there's a easy little toggle oops knocking over the tripod here there's an easy little toggle button right here that allows you to switch between ground station mode, activated. Ground station mode or drone mode, drone mode so we have drone mode and I'm going to plug in my quad so we can get this data transfer going Okay, we have that plugged in. All right, so now what you want to do, let's see, I'm trying to get that focused in here. Hope, hope you guys can see this okay. All right, we are going to go to FCB. It's the lower left, uh, lower left hand button. And we are going to not use Bluetooth. We are going to use USB. You have to select the correct uh, baud rate. Uh, mine happens to be uh, 57,600, so we'll go ahead and do that. And then it is a normal USB connection. You need to approve USB permission and retry. All right, so what's gonna happen is it says you need to approve USB access. So we'll do that. Bluetooth has been disabled. Bluetooth is disabled. And I'm gonna go through the same steps, 57s. Uh, baud rate 57600, normal USB. USB connected. USB connected. Okay. Has been detected. All right, so it, it sees it. It sees the data. So the data is now officially in the app. Now the magic starts. Now we are going to connect to the server. So we're going to get this telemetry data and we're going to send it into the sky. So basically, what we are going to do is go back to the main screen. I'm going to click back. And then there's a little connect icon right right there. And that's what we're going to use to connect. So I'm going to connect. Boom. Connected. Okay. We're going to do that for device number two also. So I am going to connect. Validated access code. Connecting to server. Connected beautiful thing when it says connected okay so now we are actually officially on line with so once data. you get your access code and you have both of these device number one this is the sky station this is the ground station once you have both of those on the server and connected and you're streaming your uh your telemetry data you then want to create a wi-fi hotspot and that's going to allow device number three to connect. And this is how you get your control. So you would, what you want to do is create a Wi-Fi hotspot, which I've already done. Um, once that is active, you want to go to FCB. And this is how you're going to set up your uh, TCP IP uh, telemetry hub. With that Wi-Fi spot being active, or the Wi-Fi hotspot being active, it's usually it'll pre-fill out the uh, IP address and that the information you need. So you'll have your IP address and then uh, and then the port number. Uh, it's a four-digit number. And then what you'll do at that point, um, it, it it should recognize your uh, your phone, uh, phone number one. You'll you'll see that highlighted. Or not highlighted, but you'll see that in the selection screen. So you'll hit telemetry socket started. You'll you'll hit that, and it'll say telemetry socket started, and that means you're broadcasting. So now we need to take device number three and connect to that internet hotspot. So I will connect to that internet hotspot. Looks like we're already there, and then I will go to my TCP settings. Uh, go to settings. And then we will go to telemetry connection type and we will click not USB, but we will click TCP. 
and then I'll go to my TCP uh, USB TCP settings and it is going to give me uh, a selection screen for my telemetry link speed which is going to be the baud rate uh, which is uh, 57,600 and then we are going to uh, make sure that our server address matches the, the Wi-Fi server address so basically you will just copy that one into that screen once you do that click OK also with the port you will get your port number make sure that matches click that and then you will return to the to the main screen on droid planner okay now this is where the magic happens now hopefully if we've done everything correctly when i hit connect down here it should connect so here we go fingers crossed client socket connected boom that's it so you are now connected so i have um, it's showing me a 3D satellite lock. Um, I've got 12 satellites in the house, which is really good, actually. Wow, crazy. So yeah, 12 satellites. We are in. So this is uh, this is it. You, you are connected over the internet. You have theoretically unlimited telemetry data. Um, and uh, the in the next videos, um, I will show you how to uh, take a camera feed and send that over the internet. So you'll have unlimited FPV. Uh, which is really, really cool. So um, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any suggestions, please uh, leave me a comment. And I hope this helped. Um, it took me at least three hours to try to get this. So I hope, uh, I hope I'm helping somebody out there. All right. Thanks again. Have a good night, guys.